All right, on to our admin feature of the week. And here we go, understanding the permissions of viewing, adding, and editing notes. Now, listeners, this has changed and it's come into being not long ago. And I just want to highlight to you, if the user was already in the system when this change happened, they actually have access to everything to do with notes. It is only to do when there are new users created and there are certain roles that you might choose as you're creating the user that that are the default roles might actually have this setting set to usually owned only, which we'll describe in a second. But just be aware that if you've already had the person in there, nothing will change. But it might be a good opportunity to actually go and review now what permissions people should have to notes. So now Craig's going to explain to us all the intricacies of this because he spent hours going through this. And Craig, very much appreciated. So take it away. All right, strap yourself in. And uh, uh, apologies if you're listening to this on the podcast versus watching on YouTube. It's going to be hard to follow because you really do need to see the screenshots. So sign up for the show notes, uh, hubshots.com slash subscribe, and you can get all these screenshots. So let's talk about what problem this is solving. And well, first of all, what's a note? Well, if you're on a contact, most people know there's that activity timeline. You've got some tabs. You can leave a note on a contact, you can do it for a deal ticket as well. Uh, but let's just assume we're talking with contacts. You can leave a note. What's the problem? Well, the problem has been people are starting to save quite sensitive information in these notes against a contact. Uh, depending on the field, there might be financial information or medical health related. Maybe, maybe it's just personal details. Uh, you're a salesperson. You're working with this person. Maybe there's something to say, and you don't want everyone else kind of seeing this sensitive stuff. So the problem that you're trying to solve and this new permission helps you solve is I want to protect the notes. Marketing still need to come in and be able to see a contact or maybe other sales reps see the contact, but I don't want them seeing the notes uh, because that's sensitive. How do I protect that? And you can see there's been community threads about this over the years and it's quite important. And I'm really glad to see HubSpot addressing this and saying, yep, they have been getting more granular with permissions. They have been locking this kind of stuff down and won't go into now, but there's actually other permissions that they're rolling out that actually protect things. So you can have someone view a contact record, but not send emails, all this kind of, you're starting to lock it down. And that's a really good thing. So this is, it's a good thing that's on the path. I'll tell you what the problem is. I think the user interface or the UX experience is very confusing. And it starts here with notes. They have this permission that says owned only. And it's like, what does owned only mean when it comes to a note? Does that mean the note is on, say, a contact where I'm the contact owner? You could be forgiven for thinking that, oh, that's an owner. Because we have this sense, oh, deal owner, ticket owner, contact owner, notes owner. What's a notes owner? A better label would have been creator. So instead of owned only, they should have said created only. Because you could be on a contact. You're not the contact owner, but you can create a note on it. In HubSpot world, that means you're the owner of the note. You're the note owner. So there you can see the confusing. I, I, I think it's just easy to say created. So here the permissions around notes, what can you view? Which notes can you view? You can say, well, only the notes I've created. So I can't see anyone else's notes or the permission might be team or everything. If it's everything, then I can see any notes, any notes someone else has written. And really that's how it used to be before this permission came in. Anyone could see anyone else's notes as long as they could view the contact. I mean, if they couldn't even view the contact, you can't actually get to the notes section anyway, but you get my point. So just to make that clear, let's have a look at a screenshot here. This is a contact um, in our portal. I'm not the owner of the contact. I'm not the contact owner, that's Tara, but I am the owner of this note against the con- uh, uh, against the contact, right? So uh, I've created the note, I'm that note owner. So this permission here, it's like, well, who can view this note? Well, um, it depends on that permission. So you come to these three scenarios. And by the way, if you're starting to tune out listeners or viewers, you're like, oh, what? This is all getting confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. But people are running into this issue. So I just want to address that. We're going to have a fuller video on the channel. Just a, We could almost do a training course just on permission. But let me try and summarize where we're getting to. You've got three scenarios you want to understand. It's like, okay, how can I edit my own notes? Okay, we'll get into that. And then how can I view other people's notes? What do I need? And in fact, how can I edit other people's notes? 
So here's the summary in the table. I've tried to make this as simple as possible. And it comes down to two things. It's one that notes view. That's that notes view permission up here. Notes view, whether you're owned only team or everything. And then there's also the permissions you have on an object. Let's say a contact. We're just dealing with contacts in this example. Could be deals, could be tickets. So here's the here's the thing. If you've got view uh, owned only and for your notes, can you edit and add notes on a, a contact that you can view? Yeah, you can. Even if it's view only, you can add and edit your own note. What's if you have edit permissions on the contact? Can you edit and own your notes? Yep, yeah, same thing. Then, can you view anyone else's notes? No, you can't. But let's say your notes view is everything or team. You can still add and edit your own notes, but now you can see other people's notes, right? So if you can view that contact, you can see the notes tab on that contact. You can now see other people's notes if you have the everything uh, permission for, for viewing notes or team. Let's just go everything. But can you edit it? No, you can't. And in fact, the edit of someone else's note is determined whether you have edit permission for the contact. So you, if you can edit the contact, then you can actually edit other people's notes on that contact if you have this uh, permission to view. So that's the summary. Hopefully that makes sense. I've tried to simplify it down. But can you see why this is totally confusing? People are like, well, I, I just, how do I, how do I add, see other people's notes and what? I, I, you can see why they're confusing. Anyway, it's that combination of things. Their view or edit permission on the object and then their view permission on the note. However, do you think that's the end of it? No, it still gets more complex. What's if your app mentioned in a note? Well, you go down a whole other rabbit hole here. I'll tell you, even if you're owned only, like you can't view anyone else's notes, if they at mention you in their note, you can view their note. And in fact, if you had edit permission on the contact that their note is on, you can edit their note just because they've at mentioned you. And of course, if they remove yep. the at mention, it disappears. So that's one confusing thing. I couldn't find anything in the knowledge base about that, so I'm not even sure if that's by design or that, that may change. And then the other thing that comes across is, well, what's if you've pinned the note? You, you go to a contact and you say, oh, this is important. I'm going to pin it at the top. You would expect, oh, well, everyone can view it now. No, it, can't, it has no impact on those permissions. All right. So that's the summary. There's a whole bunch of other things in the show notes. I go through some nuances and a few other things and criteria and kind of craziness around it. But if you get the show notes and you go through it and you're facing this, it should make sense and you can get through it. You can always send me a note, uh, a <laughs> reply by email, send me a comment and I'll explain it further. It took me a while to get my head around this and really once you do as well, you should be setting it in permission sets so then it just flows out to people and you can be across it all. Did that make sense, Ian? I know we kind of went down a bit of a, uh, a complex path, but hopefully people get an understanding of it. Really, the, the key to understanding it all, I think, is just to know that owned only on notes really should have been better as created only. And I think if you just remember that point, you're kind of halfway to understanding it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah.